Bear Body Art Mills. You're watching Real Deal DIY. Today what we're doing is we're going to show you how to set a towel rack. As always for all my videos, don't take nothing here I say seriously. It's just a video for entertainment value. Now wherever you're sitting this thing, to me this is like my space here. So I'm going to find the middle of this space by measuring from here to here and dividing that in half. You can do that with an inch calculator, which does fractions and whatnot. Uh, they probably have one online somewhere. Just Google it. Or you can watch my other video where I show you how to do it with your measuring tape. Our center is here from side to side. And I found this height was good for hanging a towel and not getting it all in the... Uh, in the back of this water closet here. All right, now your particular towel rod is going to have its own way of wanting to be hung, but for the most part, you find the middle of this space, which is here, and then you find the middle of your towel bar. Now, my towel bar is all crazy, and there's not really a good place to measure, so. I just found the middle of this bar here and marked the sides of it. Then I put my little end on and held this up here while I basically eyeballed the center. This isn't going to be exact, but if you want yours to be exact, then don't do it yourself. Hire an expert. Who only puts up towel bars. Then I got this little bracket that came out of there. So I'm just gonna come up here and center it. Not gonna get all scientific. Just gonna eyeball it. We're gonna have to use the I guess there's not a stud there. I can't really tell sound in it. If you don't have a drill bit set like I do, then you can check and see what size drill bit you need before you leave Lowe's. This crazy red thing looks like something you should throw in the trash, but it's actually to poke those little arms out in there. Do it if you can. Try not to break it. This thing seems fragile. It goes in like this, but then this little red thing makes it so those arms come out and grab the drywall. I'm just going to put this on here and let the towel bar tell me where it's going. I'm going to just eyeball where the center is as far as up and down. You might need to measure if you have some kind of grease pencil or something you can mark this stainless steel with. Find the center of it. draw a circle around it. Now I'm going to 
measure and find the center of this circle, which is an inch. We got lucky. It's something easy. And that tells me where this crazy little bracket goes. All the circles are the screw holes. Now the way I'm hammering these in, you probably don't want to do it. I got a lot of experience with this hammer so I can get these things just right and not bend them or break them or bust a hole in the wall. You might want to find you a little rubber mallet or something. These little screw holes here are meant to be unseen. Most of the time you put them on the bottom like I do because the towel rack is a lot lower. I really could have put these ones on the top because no one is that tall. If you really care about the holes on your towel bar, you can put them on the top. Myself, I don't spend much time looking at towel bars, so erase your little lines and there you go. Appreciate y'all watching this video. If you like this video, like comment share with your friends on facebook or whatever instagram whatever them young hoodlums are doing these days appreciate y'all thanks bye bye